Awesome. How many times have we heard the cliche, you find your passion, you find your purpose? Or we're trying to find out what we're meant to do in this world. What's our spark? What's our gift to the world? We've heard all heard that several times, different places. I'd like to take you back to 2005, summer 2005, when I first think I really found the spark of what I think my gift is in the world. Prior to that, I always thought my gift was hitting people on the football field. That ended in 2002. 2005, it was a change of command at Fort Hood, Texas, in Killeen. My father was the outgoing colonel of the 2A Cal Division, and they were bringing in the new leadership on the base. I had never seen my father in his military status or at work. I did not grow up with my father. But when I saw this, it gave me a new appreciation of who he was. I knew it was kind of a big deal to be a colonel in the Army, but I didn't know it was a big deal to be a colonel in the Army. He gave a speech, and he stood there in his uniform. He had a Stetson hat on. I was like, that's a nice hat. My dad, wow, okay. You may know what he's doing. After the speech, a couple of other, other officers spoke. Big ceremony, passed the batons and flags, and big ceremony. At the end of the ceremony, I had the opportunity to speak with some of his soldiers. And they said great things about my father. I never, never knew. My father's a great soldier. He would do anything for anybody. I would follow him. He's awesome. He did so much for us. I did it. Okay. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Later on that evening, I had the opportunity to have dinner with some, some of his captains, younger officers, and they, they edified him to a T of what they saw in my father, something I did not know. I would follow him here. That's awesome. And at that moment, I was proud to be a Carter man. I had never thought about that before, that term, Carter man. Never thought about it. Fast forward, December 14, 2010, we buried my hero, my father's father. Now, I was raised with my grandfather, did everything with him, from about Five to 10 or 12, I thought my grandfather owned the high school. Seriously. He had all the keys. You, you can't have access to all the schools in the county, and you don't have some type of cachet. you somebody. All the students loved him. All the teachers loved him. The teachers would rather go see the principal before they went to see my grandfather. That's my, that's my papa. I remember I was in the fifth grade, and I saw the yearbook, the high school yearbook, and his title was Head Custodian. That stuck with me. Fast forward, back to 2010. The funeral, sad occasion, but we saw it coming. He was old, in the nursing home. But one older lady stood up to give her a testimony by my grandfather. She didn't know what she was going to say. But she told a story about it was a guy going around in the neighborhood breaking into people's houses. And my grandfather called him. Years, years, years ago, years ago, my grandfather called him. After that situation, time passed, my grandfather had to leave. Can't remember why. But she said she still remember when Willa came back. Everybody was happy because they knew the neighborhood was safe. Kind of brought everything together. The job title you may have, the what people may call you, really doesn't matter. You can still, you can still affect the people around you in a great positive way. And my grand grandfather did that for a lot of people. There was quite a few testimonies. Another day I was proud to be a Carter man. At that point, I had to ask myself, and I've asked this before, 
how do you want to be remembered? But then I had to flip it. I don't want to wait until I'm gone just for somebody to remember me. So the question is, what do you want to be known for? What do you want the people that are in your life right now to know you for? Do you bring that negativity? Do you bring depression? Are you just are you that person when the person picks up their phone and they see the name? Oh, oh, what do they want? I know they're just calling to complain about X, Y, and Z. Are you that person? Or could it possibly be that person that inspires somebody? Every time you get around, they have a big smile. Love to be around. You know when they're calling, they're calling to just maybe see how you're doing. Maybe have a real conversation of some relevance. So I had to ask myself again, what do I want to be known for? And to know me, you may know I have an obsession with leadership. Genetically, I get it. I can't help it. So I began to write in my journey. This, is a, this has been a process. This wasn't overnight. But some of the things I had to tell myself, Tobias, Carter, what do you want to be known for? First thing I want to be known for, when my wife leaves our home, and she's going out and facing the world, she walks with grace and pride because her last name is Carter. She can still feel my kiss on her forehead and my arms embraced around her, knowing that there's nothing in this world that can stop us because she's my queen and I'm her king. When my son wakes up in the morning, Mr. Tristan Landon in the car, and he hops out of bed and he runs in our room, he knows that he's a leader and a gentleman. Why? Because daddy asked him that five times a day. <laughs> what are you? A leader and a gentleman. He knows that he's going to achieve great things in this world. And every time we do the Carter Man handshake, he knows that daddy loves him and daddy proud. I want to be known as the dreamer who never gave up to my brother's Trey and Tyson. Man, they are grown. Trey just turned 21. Tyson is 18. I hope I was a good role model. And I want them to know that it does not matter where you come from, no matter how many times you mess up, because we're all going to mess up, you can still achieve your goals, and we can be the men that our family needs. I want my mother and my grandmother to know I heard you. I know I was hard-headed, <laughs> really hard-headed, but I'm going to be the man that you raised me to be. I'm going to make the family proud, and I'm going to be the catalyst for love in our family, for unity in our family, and forgiveness in our family. I want my business associates to know that I practice integrity, my loyalty would never be wavered due to the possibility of income coming my way. I have their back until the end. I want to be known as the man who faced his fears, wrote the vision, decided to walk by faith and not by sight. And when I got to the mountain, I spoke to the mountain and the mountain moved to create a path for others to follow. I want to be known as a leader in my home. I want to be known as a leader in my community. I want to be known as a leader in my family and my business. And most of all, Tobias Lopez Carter wants to be known as a leader of leaders. Thank you.